desire is fulfilled and releases fruit from the tree of life. Put your hand on your heart if you could. And let's pray. Say, Jesus, I make room in me. I give you all of me for all of you. I invite the Holy Spirit to have his way in my life today. Glorify Jesus. Reveal the Father, speak truth to my heart, and equip me for my call. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. High five two people and say, make room, make room, make room, make room. Jesus, Jesus. of deliverance. 
He said, God will surround you with songs of deliverance. And you see in 2 Kings, there is a pagan people and a carnal king that are in a time of famine and they don't know what to do. But they have a servant in the house who's familiar with prophecy and is familiar with a prophet. I say, you know, there's a prophet of God named Elisha. And if you'll, if you'll call him, he can tell you what, a God, what God would tell you to do. I know you don't believe in God, but, but, but maybe if, if, if you could just ask someone who knows God, they, they could tell you what God would tell you if you did believe. And maybe if you could be obedient to do what he tells you to do, you and all your people could be saved. And so they called for Elisha and he came and, and he said, well, what do you want? In other words, I, I know you're not someone who's open to the word of the Lord in your life, so you must have an agenda. What, what, why is it that you wanted me to come? And they begin to explain the situation. And Elisha, as a seasoned prophet, someone who's walking in a double portion anointing of what was on Elijah, he said, the word of the Lord won't come until the minstrel begins to play. And he called for a minstrel. And see, if you want the anointing, if you want breakthrough, it's not about having musicians, it's about having minstrels. It's about having, it's about sons and daughters that carry a sound to unlock a city and to unveil a bride and to release a generation into her purpose and into God's plan. And it said, as the minstrel began to play, the hand of the Lord fell and Elisha began to prophesy. And what I began to feel when Pastor Jeff was beginning to play was I began to feel the hand of the Lord beginning to come upon a people and upon a place. And the word of the Lord from Elisha was, dig some ditches. Dig some ditches. The king wanted God to do it all. But how many of you know, listen, God will do what you can't do, but he won't do what you can do. And he said, go dig some ditches. And if you'll dig some ditches tomorrow about this time, it's gonna rain. But if you don't have a ditch dug, there's nowhere for the rain to be received, to be gathered and to be stewarded. And I believe that the Holy Spirit wants to speak to some hearts here right now about some ditch called to dig to prepare for what God is wanting to pour out. Because a river without banks is runoff. And God is a God of abundance, but he's not a God of waste. He has more than enough to pour out of His Spirit today, His anointing today, His truth today, His Word today. And they were called to dig an external ditch because they were worshiping God in a temple made with human hands. But I wanna tell you, we do not worship a God in a temple made with human hands. We worship a God who has called you His temple. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are the tabernacle. This may be our gathering place, but God is not contained in a building in this covenant. He's in a people. And so they had to dig a ditch outside. For many of us, we have to dig a ditch right here. And it's called make room in me, God. Whatever it is in my life that is, seat, that is seated on your throne, tip over those thrones. Make room in me right now. I wanna encourage all across the room, I'm, as Pastor Jeff begins to play, what are the hard places in you, the places where, where things have gathered over time and God has wanted to take it out because that's the very area that you used to trust. It's the very area you used to lean into Him. But a callousness, a hardness has come over your heart. Whatever you give Him, He'll fill it. Ask him, say, God, what can I give you? What of me can I give you? What part of me do you want? I don't want you just to live in the living room and have an occasional meal in the kitchen on my call. Lord, I wanna open up some closets. I wanna open up the back rooms. I wanna open up every room to you, Lord, that you'd have the whole house. Make room, make room for the King of glory.
to give you all today. Come on, he's not just a Sunday savior. Come on, he's 365. He's 24 seven. He's the breath we breathe. He's the life we live. In him, by him, through him, and for him, all things were created, exist, and have their being. Eventually, he's gonna have it all. We might as well give it to him now. Eventually, he's gonna have it all. You might as well just give it to him now. Full surrender. spiritually like the neck obviously is what connects the head to the body and so I really felt there was a lot of realigning and reconnecting that the Lord wanted to do in our body back to the Holy Spirit back to the Father and all the areas that have been disconnected whether it was something you did or not that all these areas that need to be that have been disconnected the Lord wants to reconnect that right here right now and so Father we just pray for that God we receive it Lord all the reconnection that you want to do God all the things that the enemy has tried to rip away that you have ordained in our lives, God. We say reconnect, God. Reconnect, put it back together. There's nothing too broken that you cannot fix. There's nothing too broken that you cannot fix, God. So we receive that today, God. We open up our hearts to you. We say, come in and do whatever you wanna do. Do whatever you wanna do, all the things you wanna fix, all the things you wanna put in, all the things you wanna take out, God. Just have your way, God. Have your way, Jesus. Holy Spirit, right now we ask for alignment in every person and the entire body right now. Let it be a holy snap, crackle, pop. You know, when things can, are out of alignment, even in the natural, in your natural body, you can have a loss of feeling, you can have a loss of strength. You can even have, have forms of paralysis. But when everything is in alignment and firing properly, every member flourishes because every person is properly placed. Holy Spirit, right now we ask for that in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you are the great conductor. Bring all of these sounds together as one song. All of the minstrels in this house together as one melody. I'll let the hand of the Lord rest continually on this house and on this people and every home represented here. We give you all of us today and all we want in return is all of you. All we want is all of you. It's a 
short list. We just want Jesus. We want his kingdom. We want his will. We don't want to wait to go to heaven when we die. We want to have it right here. Jesus did not just die to get you into heaven. He paid a much higher price than that. He died to get heaven into you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, I ask there just be like a reservation. I saw like reservation signs on the, on, on the room that you've made. Because how many of you know, oftentimes when you try to make room for God or make room for something, other things come and they try to fill it right before he does. But you have permission to tell those people, those options, those distractions, those things, I'm sorry, that's taken. I'm, I'm, I know, I'm sorry, I know it looks empty to you now, but it's taken. That place, that space is taken. It's reserved for grace. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. How you know the Lord has just done a, a deep work in your heart, some alignment in your life? Come on, can we give God the glory for that? Just, just tell him thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's thank the Lord for our wonderful worship team. Can we do that as well? Come on. Thank you so much for taking your time to join with us for one of our most recent services here at Kingsway Church. Again, we pray that you enjoyed your time viewing this video. And we invite you, if you're watching this on YouTube, click the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on newly uploaded content. If you're watching this on one of our social media platforms, we encourage you to like and share this video with your friends. And if you're watching on our website, kingswayal.com, we ask that you send us an email at info at kingswayal.com. Let us know where you're watching from and how this service impacted you. We bless you.